Hello my friends, and welcome back to the Ukando TV channel. Get ready to witness some of the most breathtaking bridge buildings and engineering projects in this video. The construction of the cable stayed bridge to Rusky Island over the eastern Bosphorus Strait in Vladivostok is a significant project under the federal program for the development of Vladivostok as a center of international cooperation in the Asia-Pacific region. The bridge, being constructed in Vladivostok, Russia, boasts unique dimensions that set it apart as an engineering marvel. With a height of 70 meters above the water level, and a central span extending over 1,100 meters, it will become the longest cable-stayed bridge in the world. The pylon supporting the bridge will reach an impressive height of 320 meters, while the stay cables will measure a staggering 580 meters in length. These exceptional dimensions will establish new world records and highlight the remarkable nature of the bridge's design. Vladivostok, as the largest Pacific port in Russia, requires a bridge capable of accommodating vessels of any class. The bridge is being constructed over the eastern Bosphorus Strait, which spans approximately 1.5 kilometers in width. This area is known for its challenging weather conditions, including strong winds that can reach speeds of up to 36 meters per second and storm waves towering at 6 meters in height. Additionally, the region experiences extreme temperatures, with winter temperatures plummeting below minus 30 degrees Celsius and summer temperatures soaring to 37 degrees Celsius. The bridge's design takes all these factors into consideration, ensuring its resilience against the harsh climate and demanding marine environment. To facilitate efficient construction operations, production facilities have been established on Ben Azima Peninsula and Moose Kila. Advanced concrete mixing plants and compactors are utilized to maintain the quality of the materials used during construction. These facilities encompass various workshops, including rebar welding, building inspection, mechanical and woodworking, as well as office buildings, living quarters, and canteens. To support the construction process, over 1,300 meters of new railway tracks have been laid, and the existing railway section has been upgraded. A dedicated laboratory conducts rigorous testing of all building materials, including daily tests on concrete mixing batches for strength, density, water resistance, frost resistance, and water permeability. Specialized equipment, such as drilling rigs and lifting cranes, is employed throughout the construction process. These advanced tools enable efficient and precise work, pushing the boundaries of construction techniques. Reverse circulation drilling rigs were introduced for the first time in Russia specifically for bridge construction. The site accommodates up to 280 track mounted and tower lifting cranes, facilitating the various tasks involved. The construction of the bridge commenced with the erection of the viaduct, composed of piers ranging from 9 to 30 meters in height. Cast in place pier construction techniques were employed with each pier integrated with board pile footings. The viaduct piers are interconnected by three inclined web box steel girders. To ensure quality and efficiency, custom-made machines were installed for concreting the roadway, slab, and the use of self-compacting concrete further enhanced the construction process. Among the heaviest and most complex structures of the bridge are the pier bodies located on Mamba, Nisima Peninsula and Rusky Island, standing approximately 35 meters tall. These robust pier bodies play a critical role in supporting the bridge's weight and maintaining its stability. Equipped with numerous docks, they accommodate various utility lines and a sophisticated bridge monitoring system.
The use of self-compacting concrete mixtures during their construction enhances their durability and reinforces the overall strength and resilience of the pier structures, ensuring the long-term stability and functionality of the bridge. The Anakale Bridge is an impressive engineering marvel located in Turkey. The bridge stands as a symbol of the country's historical significance and technological advancement. With its record-breaking length and unique design elements, it has become an iconic landmark connecting the Asian and European sides of Turkey. The Anakale Bridge is classified as a suspension bridge, a type of bridge that utilizes steel cables suspended from vertical towers to support the bridge deck. The bridge's construction involved the use of both steel and concrete materials, combining their respective strengths to create a stable and durable structure. This combination ensures that the bridge can withstand the immense forces exerted on it by wind, traffic, and other external factors. The bridge consists of three lanes in each direction, providing a total of six lanes for vehicular traffic. This configuration enables the smooth flow of vehicles and enhances transportation efficiency across the strait. The design of the bridge includes two main pins, which act as pivotal points for the suspension cables. These pins play a crucial role in distributing the load and maintaining the stability of the bridge deck. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Anakale Bridge is its impressive span length. The middle span of the bridge measures 2,023 meters, surpassing the Akashi Keiki Bridge in Japan by 32 meters, making it the world's longest suspension bridge. This significant achievement was specifically chosen to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Turkish Republic. The bridge's total length, including the side spans and access viaduct, is 4,608 meters. It features two steel towers that rise to a height of 318 meters. The selection of this tower height holds symbolic meaning, as it represents the date of the Ottoman army's victory at the Battle of Anakale which occurred on March 18, 1915. Furthermore, a 16-meter-long, 78-ton bullet-shaped structure. is prominently displayed, symbolizing the extraordinary strength and resilience displayed by Say at Anba during the war. This addition raises the total height of the bridge to an impressive 334 meters, 
making it the tallest tower suspension bridge in the world at the time of its construction. The towers of the Anakale Bridge are painted in red and white, paying homage to the colors of the Turkish flag. This choice not only showcases national pride, but also adds to the bridge's visual appeal and prominence within the surrounding landscape. The construction of the Avenue Tecosum Viaduct, also known as Viaducto Os Portos, was carried out using advanced assembly and construction techniques. The project utilized the VGT-1004 workboard system, TC-400 high-face tower system, and a 24-meter truss system, resulting in a remarkable structure with a height of 39 meters and a length of 246 meters. The construction process began with the installation of the VGT-1004 formwork board system. This system provided a sturdy and adjustable framework for pouring concrete and forming the viaduct's deck. The formwork boards were precisely positioned and secured, ensuring the correct shape and dimensions of the deck. This step required careful planning and coordination to ensure the stability and integrity of the structure. Simultaneously, the TC-400 high-face tower system was employed to support the construction of the viaduct's tall piers. These towers were strategically placed at regular intervals along the length of the viaduct to bear the weight of the structure. The TC-400 system offered robust support and stability during the construction process allowing for safe and efficient assembly. To span the 246-meter distance between the piers, a 24-meter truss system was utilized. This truss system consisted of lattice girders and beams connected together to form a strong and lightweight framework. The trusses were carefully positioned and secured, creating a solid structure capable of withstanding the load requirements. Pile Foundation Pouring Process this is a construction foundation construction method used to strengthen the strength and stability of structures built on soft ground, soft soil, or hard bottom soil. The pile foundation pouring process begins with the use of an excavator to drill the steel pile into the ground. Steel piles are large in diameter and are well drilled into the ground. Then. Concrete is poured into the steel pile to create a rigid pile foundation. This process is intended to create a load-bearing capacity for the foundation and transfer forces from the structure to the ground. Steel and concrete piles together form a reinforced concrete system, enhancing the bearing capacity and durability of the foundation. When the board pile foundation is completed, it will provide stability and support for the construction upwards. The foundation plate is part of the foundation and is built on top of the board pile. The foundation slab is designed to transfer loads from the structure onto the board piles. The foundation slab construction process involves placing reinforcement molds and pouring concrete on top of board piles. The girder is carefully aligned with the supports and inserted into a rail or sliding mechanism specifically designed to facilitate its movement. With the girder resting on the first support and guided by the rail, the actual installation begins. The combined effort of the excavator and crane enables the controlled movement of the girder. The excavator pushes the girder forward, applying steady force to propel it towards the other side of the bridge. An excavator, equipped with special attachments, is employed to provide the necessary pushing force. The excavator's arm is extended and secured to the girder, ensuring a firm connection. The crane acts as a stabilizing force, ensuring the girder remains level and balanced during the installation. As the girder progresses, 
it slides along the rail, gradually moving towards the second support. The pushing force from the excavator, along with the guidance of the rail, ensures the girder maintains its intended trajectory. Once the girder reaches the second support, it is carefully aligned and securely positioned, completing one installation cycle. This process is repeated for the remaining girders until all three are successfully placed into their designated positions. Each girder is carefully aligned, inserted into the rail, pushed by the excavator, and supported by the crane until it reaches its final destination. A concrete mold system will be installed to shape and ensure that the concrete does not overflow from the pouring site. Concrete molds are usually made of steel or pressed wood, and they are installed to the size and shape required for the bridge. Anti-cracking steel mesh is placed on the bridge surface before concrete is poured. This steel grating enhances the strength and durability of the bridge, prevents cracking, and minimizes the effects of expansion and contraction. After the mold and wire mesh are ready, concrete will be poured onto the bridge deck. This is usually done using a concrete pump to ensure the correct amount. Concrete will be poured from the top and spread into the required area on the deck. After the concrete is poured, workers will use tools such as anti-vibration curtains to spread and evenly distribute the concrete over the entire bridge surface. At the same time, workers will also use tools such as uniform bars to ensure the thickness and flatness of the concrete layer.